Good morning. It is 7.46 a.m. on Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. Hey, St. Patrick's Day, right? Coincidence, actually. But, uh, sure, why not? Um, I don't especially celebrate St. Patrick's Day or anything. I have some Irish in my, uh, heritage, but it's a ways back. It's not like I have any, um anyone alive or that I have ever met that was uh, Irish in my family. But, you know, mm, uh, that's not even really what I was planning to talk about. I just realized, oh, yeah, hmm. Um, had a fun session of Dungeons & Dragons last night um, where I introduced what the players don't uh, fully appreciate yet is is likely to be a recurring character. <laughs> Rocket's a little bit restless this morning. He's already been outside and he already had his breakfast, but he's being a little bit grumbly, like like he feels like he's do something additional. But he's he's a sweet little boy. <coughs> he deserves all good things. Um I watched more of the cartoon Infinity Train yesterday. Now, this is a show that they had had like a one-shot thing long time ago. And uh, the it was just this one little short, Cartoon Network short, that, uh, you know, was intended to be possibly a, a series, but it was just this one piece. And I just remember thinking that was amazing, and I... Uh, was so intrigued by it. And then it got to be a full season, and these are, you know, it was 10 episodes of these 11-minute episodes. Um, and I remember feeling when that season came out that I liked it okay, but somehow it didn't fully capture that amazing sense of awe and mystery that I felt from the original one shot. Now rewatching what became what was ultimately season one, I, I feel like there was maybe a part of me that had my my expectations were too specific based on that first one shot, um, and so that was maybe why I was holding back from season one a little bit. But what I will say actually is that now there's actually three seasons, and on. Uh, they're on all three on HBO Max. And I hadn't watched any of season two or three. So now I've rewatched season one and I'm into, you know, and I've finished season two and, you know, a little bit into season three. And I'll, I'll say it's pretty, it's pretty good. I still feel like it's a little frustrating because I, I feel like I can't 100% there's just something that holds me back from just saying I love it. Um, I like it a lot. And I'm not sure what it is that makes me hesitate. Um, this is like, I'm not, I'm not being coy about that or anything. It's really just like, it's, it's a lot of what it does. I feel, you know what? I think maybe part of, what my hesitation is, is really just that it feels a little bit like it wants to be something other than a season of 10, 11 minute episodes of a cartoon. Like the story feels like it wants to be more epic or something unless I, I feel like the 11 minute runtime for each episode like, it works just fine when they're doing just the little, um, you know, like, oh, hey, what's in this? So the premise, incidentally, is that there seems to be this, uh, this train that is maybe infinite in length, unclear. Um, uh, the running through some crazy wasteland and... Uh, each car is, it, it's basically science fantasy in the sense that it's sort of presented like it's science fiction, but it's effectively magic. Each car 
could be completely different in all sorts of really bizarre ways, including seeming to be much bigger on the inside than on the outside, even though the cars are already quite big from the outside. And uh, each one will be very extremely varied with you know what find is found within. But then beyond that, there's you know I, like some of this I think I won't spoil because it's stuff that's like revealed as the series progresses, but it does seem to have some element of it brings people on that have issues of some kind and part of what the train does is people are working through their issues by solving the puzzle and progressing through the train. But it's all presented in a fairly opaque, mysterious way. And I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess I do really like it. And I'm not sure, like, it's, it's one thing to say, you know, I would feel comfortable if I could say, I really like it, but I wish this piece of it were different, but I still recommend it, right? But I think the problem that I have is I feel like there's, there's something that would be that thing, except I can't think what it would be, and I don't know. Anyone else watch that show? Do you any any insight on what it is that is missing from it in my brain? Why I'm not able to fully endorse it in the way that I would like? Now, bear in mind, even uh, l let me be clear here that like I feel like I'm damning it with faint praise by implying there's something missing. I should be clear: what's there, even with whatever's missing, it's pretty good. I just, it, it's really just a feeling like I should like it more than I do. And I'm not sure why I feel that way. That's, that's the only hesitation. I think maybe there's elements that remind me of Over the Garden Wall, which is one of my favorite cartoons ever. And I would not say that I like it as much as that. But that's an extremely high bar. It's kind of like saying... Uh, well, it's not as good as this thing that I gave an A-plus and that immediately became one of my favorite things of all time. That doesn't mean it's not still really good. I like it. I'm continuing to watch it. I recommend it if my description of the premise sounds interesting. So I'll leave it there, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.